Alrighty, what's up guys? This is uh, your boy Combs. We're here with a video and this video we're taking a bit of a break from the beginner series for a video because we've made so many on that recently. I figure we'll pause and just have some fun. Uh, we've got, uh, got a good old video here for you today. This is going to be my top five favorite raid teams and we're going to have our boy Valley flying weighing in. Has anybody That's seen him? Right. Anybody know? Valley, are you? Anybody know where he's at? I don't know. We'll find him anyways. Let's hop into this video. Okay, you ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Here he is. Valley flying. That's right, brother. How are you doing? What's up, dude? I'm, How I'm you doing living? good, dude. Yeah. Glad Valley it, Mania is running wild. It is running wild all over the Combs channel. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's like a disease. He's infecting us all. It's infecting all of us. <laughs> on a serious note if you guys somehow are watching this video and you don't know valley flying's channel he is one of the greatest marvel strike force channels on youtube you have to make sure to go and give him a sub watch some of his very entertaining videos and uh we're going to be making a video right after this that's going to go on his channel so when you're watching this his should be up as well so make sure to click over i'll leave the the link in the description for that video one of us will be first <laughs> yeah one of us will be first i don't know if you click the link and there's nothing there we're be... shooting we're shooting at the same time we're shooting at the same time so guys today we're going to be talking about uh kind of like uh, my top five favorite raid teams and this is going to be kind of like just what i like to use and then valley's going to give his input um because i think they'll yes. have some pretty interesting opinions on the teams that i like to use just because i got some pretty weird ones that i run all right guys so here is the first team these are not really in any particular order these are just my favorite teams to use this one's pretty awesome i'm sure you guys are already watching this and you're like oh of yeah. course this guy yeah, his favorite right. raid team has ultron and minerva in it wow and star lord and rocket i mean jeez little overpowered huh <laughs> yeah i mean it's okay it's okay i like this best, team. Uh, takes care of business man nice. you ever I, use this I, one i use that team every single day in these gamma raids i mean in these champion raids i use these every single day <laughs> you mean the the gamma champion raids yeah the, the champion raid <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know but uh they're different raids uh, you know okay. that they're different, YouTube. You better watch your mouth in the comments. Are they? Are, are they, they really? Are they really? Let me know. Let but me know. Uh, so this what team is are awesome. Really different? I mean, obviously you see this team, right? So there's a couple variations yeah. of this team. You could swap in uh, Thanos in the spot where Ultron is. And that way Rocket's getting energy and going off like crazy. Or you can put uh, Minerva in the middle and you can put Groot on the outside. That team works pretty good as well not as good but it works as well there's many different variations this is of course the bkt team with ultron or you can put in thanos like i said good team classic team um probably what do you think valley if you had to rate have, this team oh i didn't know where you're doing ranking uh for the particular node that this team is available for i would say that this is the better team on the harder nodes on those uh lanes that or these nodes that they could qualify for but I, I prefer the thanos one on the easier notes because on the easier notes you're killing more you're distributing more energy on the harder nodes you're not distributing energy anyway so vision will help with that defense up i would give this a nine out of ten i use this team all the time i love it oh, wow that's a great rating i would also give it a nine out of ten yes so Let's see if I'm a little harsher with my next few ratings, huh? All right, let's see if you're harsher with the next rating. So next team, guys, here we go. This one is a bit more unique, in my opinion. I mean, I guess it's not really, like, super unique because you're kind of, like, forced into traits on these raids. But this is a team that I really like to use. It is uh, – it's it's different. I don't know. People like oh, it. Some people oh. some people do. Some people don't. So we've got uh, interesting. Brotherhood with interesting. Phoenix. Interesting. Interesting. Occasionally – Stick with me here. Occasionally, I like to swap out um, Pyro for Wolverine. Okay. And the okay. reason I don't know where my Wolverine is, so I'm just kind of scrolling for him. But uh, Wolver he's the reason lower. why he's I like lower. to he's do lower. that, I saw him down there. Okay. It's fine. He's gone forever. He's in All the right. abyss. All so, bye right. Wolverine. The <laughs> the reason sometimes I'll swap in Wolverine over Pyro is because this team has a 
pretty solid amount of survivability. I mean, Sabretooth recovers health at the end of his turn. Wolverine recovers health at the end of his turn. Uh, my Juggernaut and Magneto are both tier 13. And uh, Magneto is six red stars. And Juggernaut is four. So it's a pretty beefy team. Ends up being good. So it allows Phoenix to just kind of get beat up and then taken out. And then you get Dark Phoenix. And uh, from there, you know, th that's... Yeah, that's my question about this team. Then what? <laughs> happens on the next note <laughs> the rest is history you pretty i mean you have to revive phoenix after each battle but right. that's if she dies she doesn't always die but if she does then you just revive her and just go yeah. on but i don't know i mean i i i usually sit on those charges so it's not really a big deal like i'm pretty much maxed at 500 500 all the time on those charges let me ask you this oh sorry what, what were you gonna say i was gonna say are you not maxed on those charges all the time are you talking the raid uh, health? Um, well, a lot of times I fall asleep playing Blitz, so I don't claim all of the charges. So there, there's sometimes a couple weeks that I don't get the raid health from the challenges. So, yeah, sometimes I'm not maxed out. Uh, I hate but, to say uh, it. But my question for you is about Juggernaut, because uh, I use brotherhood and they and on these current raids i'm able to clear two or three nodes with just the brotherhood but one thing i was thinking of doing to make them a little more effective is putting that t4 on juggernaut's basic to have him get more energy which means he could taunt more and he could do his big running charge move a little more uh what, what do you think of that for juggernaut i've thought about that as well actually i just think that like after a while like i don't know i mean is it it's not gonna like add up that much. I feel like like it'll take a while to add up to anything. Yeah, I mean it's already at seventy five percent without that T four, so it's not like he's not getting it. Just there's there's sometimes I wish that I could be taunting with him, or I wish I could be doing a damage move, and I feel like in the raids it's I'm waiting for it to come up cool down, cool down. So yeah, well, I mean okay. it has big cooldowns because he's really know. not meant for raids, but a no, lot of times just, I just use I don't use his taunt first turn. You got to use it strategically. And then just kind of like plan it out. So I mean, I, yeah, I can usually on, yeah, sail through. I, I can usually beat probably four or five nodes with this, including yeah, I mean, the boss. I, 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 I did with the Brotherhood team, but the the problem that I, I still see is Phoenix dies more often than not, most likely, right? Yeah, but then you just revive her, and it's all fine. Right, all right. <laughs> I guess you got to stay up to do those challenges if you want to use this team. <laughs> Can't be falling asleep and not having great health. It's just how it is, man. It's how you gotta do it. Another okay. little tip that you can use on this team is uh, where's she at? Where my girl Storm at? Uh, Storm can uh, swap in here as uh. well. And um, because I think a lot of people don't remember, is that uh, Storm can carry her charges over from battle to battle. So if you are able right. to keep her All alive, right. and then you get to the boss node, she can have like ten plus charges, and it like. If you, like, I have no T4s on her or anything, and she can just blast people. Like, she can use her AoE, and it can hit over 100,000 on every single target. Yeah. So, yeah. Very, very, she's very, very solid very as well. Plus, she grants assists to mutants, right? Or is it just X-Men? I don't remember. But uh, it's still solid. Yeah, it's just X-Men. So, then you can just make Phoenix attack, attack, attack over and over with the assists. It's pretty crazy. So... It works out. That's just my thoughts on team. It's a pretty weird team. Yeah, I like I like the choice of Storm on this team because of those charges and being with stack charges. Now, uh, if you guys aren't building up Storm, I would definitely recommend building her up because I think she's going to be essential once these once these Ultima Seven raids come out. Just storing up these charges. Uh, that's what our alliance had to do. So yeah, Storm, awesome, awesome pick for any raid team. Yeah, I agree with that 100. percent All right, so next team. We have got where they Looks at. Looks like the same where these team. Boys same at? team. What? Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there, was a little free there was a little freezing in the transmission there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that happens, you know. Internet. All right, so All right. it shows my blitz charges because I've been playing the heck out of this team because mm -hmm. I really like them. Um, this team, yo, this team I've been using for Ultima 6. They're not strong enough okay. to do anything beyond that yet. Okay. But I just okay. feel like they're going to be good, and I am anticipating that they're going to add in new a new character for the fifth slot to eventually make this team good with raids so then yeah. i think they're going to make it so this team is going to be one of the most versatile teams in the game now of course this is just speculation but i anticipate that namor is going to be for war they're going to add another character in that makes them good for raids they're going to add another character in that makes them good for arena 
Obviously, yeah. quick speculation would be Silver Surfer for one of the modes, Doctor Doom for another mode. I don't really know when that's going to happen, if it's going to happen, but that's what I speculate. Have those, you played those, with this team that much, Valley? I have not played with that particular team. I have uh, experimented a little bit with the Fantastic Four, more in the Blitz, uh, experimenting with uh, which fifth I like best for Blitz, because uh, Namor just isn't the guy for the Blitz mode, uh, like you mentioned. But this, this looks like a very interesting team. How is your sustainability? I see the only one that's really healing on the team is Invisible Woman. Uh, I know Johnny's really, really fragile. How, how, are, how are these guys performing for you in the raids? What I've noticed in the raids is that if you use Invisible Woman's abilities strategically, mm -hmm. and that is like, you don't really use the, the her special mm -hmm. that often, because when you just stealth and leave one or two people out, you know they're gonna die you know it's like yeah. how phoenix's ability works and with invisible woman if you use her barrier ability it ends up being pretty good because you get so much barrier from that again on ultima six they don't usually end up losing any health at all that's been my experience i haven't had honestly any trouble with it and then between like thanos taunting i mean when thanos is taunting like he just has so much health and that's i mean my thanos isn't that strong he's i think he just 35,000 power so he's at the same power as invisible woman they seem to stay alive really well now is this team going to be like the sustainability of minerva or anything like a minerva team no because they don't have that good of healing but i mean i'd be interested to see at higher power if you could just put minerva in instead of thanos and see if they would survive you know what i mean yeah I, I, that looks like a very interesting uh setup i am curious to see how they would perform at some of these higher level raids once you uh, build them up I know one character that's been mentioned a lot for that fifth spot for the raids has been Shuri. Have you tested that team out for the raids? I haven't. I actually have not heard that at all. That sounds mm. very interesting. Though. I'm definitely going to be testing that after this. Yeah, I think I want to test that team out in Ultima 6. Uh, now, you, you said you played with them on Ultima 6. Is this a team that was fully auto on Ultima 6, even at that 150 power level? Uh, they were until I got to like the Star-Lord node. They got a little beat up on. Okay. Well, that's pretty good for their that low power level, though. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I bad, lost. Bad, um, Even uh, they're not made for that mode right now. So no, exactly. So and the only person that so I I beat the node, but I lost Mr. Fantastic. So okay, that's all that happened. So still pretty good, I think. Interesting. I'm 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 very curious about this team. I don't think I could rate it yet. So I want to see how they perform. At higher they're a lot of fun. Players. This this is one of my favorite new teams. Um, they're really exciting. I think they can only get better from here on out. All right, next team. This is going to be the weirdest team, dude. I hope pull you're pull ready pull for pull it. Pull pull okay. I'm ready for it. Okay. All right, I see a Spider-Verse on there. I see a Spider-Verse on there. I see two Spider-Verse remaining. The other three are gone. Who is he going to put in, guys? Who is coming in? You will find out when I follow Green Goblin. There are three OG Spider-Verse members on this team. Interesting. Goes with Captain Marvel for the pick. And Captain America to round it out with that military tag. All right. I see lots of bleeds. I see a lot of damage. I see that military synergy coming into play a little. So Captain Marvel doing really well. Uh, I like it. I like it. I think I'm on this note. I want to experiment with this note in the new uh, Gamma Raid. The reworked Gamma Raid. Yeah, so this, you mean the champion raid, Valley? Show some respect. The champion raid, I'm sorry. <laughs> How could I make that mistake? It's so illogical. I can't believe you would make that mistake. <laughs> How do you think that Pants of Hulk feels now because of you? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell me about these guys. So this team is <laughs> really about, interesting. Okay, this team is really interesting. It is. Okay. They they um they work really good on like the uh the mystic bio node in the beta raid. I think it's the beta raid, whatever the last one we had before the champion raid was. And uh they work really well on those nodes, which is surprising. I was trying to tell my alliance about them because everybody was having a hard time on those nodes, and I was just sailing through without any trouble using this team. Okay. Um what's interesting about them is obviously uh Venom heals, Captain Marvel heals, and Captain America can just, he just doesn't get hurt. Like he carnage, just blocks. Carnage heals, Carnage heals as well. Heals yes, as well. yes. I, I meant to say that and I didn't, so that's why. It's all right, that's why I'm here. We're like a dynamic duel, guys. I know every fact about Carnage, of course. I have him at tier 13, so <laughs> obviously I know everything about him. And then Green Goblin doesn't heal, but it's okay because Carnage moves so fast that they're able to just get 
rolling with their debuffs and then green goblin is able to start clearing stuff because he just clears stuff on spider verse turn and so that's pretty crazy that is one of the craziest abilities in the game right now but this team it just works i don't really know why it just does and they just go in dude and they don't i mean the only one who deals specifically a ton of damage is really captain marvel i mean carnage does his bleeds and everything but she just like kind of blasts everybody and they clear all the debuffs and just spread or they clear the buffs and then spread debuffs and then captain america absorbs most of the damage and then there you go mm. that's it i don't know why it works it just does i like it i like it i'm not sure how many nodes they would be able to do without like a pure dedicated healer how many how many nodes are you getting through with the, the at 249 and 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 the other i do have a follow-up question how far along is this mystic bio and uh the beta raids because i don't remember where that note is off the top of my head okay. so these are at the end so it's like right okay, so before content. yeah so it's like you have um mystic bio and then you're gonna have um then you have mutants and then you have the last mm. boss node okay. Okay. okay so there's like so i think there's some, uh, pretty meaty competition. Competition. yeah yeah it's pretty tough that's why i okay. reverted to this team because i was trying to figure out something to be able to get through them all right, and, and so this team is, just kind of amount of nodes that you can get through with this team because uh the most i got through was, the most i got through was three okay that's not but bad. typically that's on not average it's about bad. two two and a half yeah so it's pretty bad. crazy um again i was super surprised like i don't know and like i don't have like big red stars on any of these characters i mean well i have five on captain america yeah and then i think three on everybody else so well, it's see, not I've like this, I have. I like this team. Like yeah, it's very like simple it. and interesting. So I can't wait till the beta raids come back and uh, I'll try this team out. Yeah, you got That's to. It's pretty fun. good. You'll probably be surprised. All right, so we've got. I will be surprised. But one I, more team. I, I trust you. I trust you, Combs. You should. I'm a trustworthy man. <laughs> All right, so here's the last team. I like to. Uh, I have a, a nice nickname that I refer to this team by. Did I tell you about that, Valley? What is the nickname? The nickname is, uh, I like to call this team the uh, the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> Overhyped is, and always is, disappointing me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's Wakanda. Oh, it's Wakanda. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some of the execs at Fox Next would disagree with you about that. They're supposed to be the top raid team. <laughs> top raid team. All right. Tell me about these Falcons. <laughs> I mean, they seem really good. You get a lot of red stars on them. You put all your T4s into them, and then they can't beat any nodes. They beat like two nodes. How many red stars do you have on them? <laughs> maybe, maybe you didn't whale hard enough on these guys. I have uh, two red stars on Killmonger and Shuri, and then I have five red stars on M'Baku, Black Panther, and Okoye. I've got T4s on Killmonger's basic. I have T4s on Shuri's special ultimate passive. I have them on Black Panther's passive, and I have them on Okoye's basic, and I still can barely win battles in Blitz, and yeah, I dude. can, I, I, I have tried to dude. clear Ultima Six on auto, and I lose. I know your problem. I, I, you just said your problem. I've counted six T fours. You need twelve. You need to whale harder for this team to work. That is how to make this team work. No, I'm not doing it. Whale harder, guys. If I could revert this team, give me back all the gold, all the gear, no, you gotta put all more the T4s. More you need more. You need at least 12. You need six more T4s on this team, and then you will be satisfied. I don't want it. That is what they told us, though. That is what they told us. So, uh, I have to I have I to. Have to, to I have what else would you put them on? The Atlanta Falcons. This is a great team. All you need is more T4s, more money, better team. What would you even put more T4s on this team? What would you put them on? I don't know. You got all the good ones. Put someone on Baku. You need, you need at least oh, three yeah, yeah, on Mbaku. Just... You need at least three on Mbaku. Uh, maybe another one on. You got. You can. You can do another two on Killmonger. You got one on his basic. You got his special and his ultimate there. Um, and while we're at it, let's just do all the passives of everybody that we don't have. Man. All of them. Just do all of them. I don't care what they are. If they're a passive. Forty percent extra attack. That is awesome. You gotta do that. You need that one. Gain two plus charge <laughs> and two counters. Got to do that. That was actually pretty good. That one's actually pretty good. 
Sixty percent damage, inconceivable. Have to do it. This one, I don't even. This is too much. Yeah, but you don't need it. Okay, look, and all these characters. If you want them to be good, you do need it. Combs. Tier eleven. Tier eleven. Tier eleven. You can do it right now. You can do it right now. Tier eleven. You one right now. I'm not gonna waste it. It's not a waste. I don't want it. I want this team to The Falcons from just threw more money at Julio Jones. That is how you solve the problem. More money, Combs. <laughs> is that how it works? That is how it works. These are all bad. <laughs> that is that is exactly your feelings about this Wakanda team. You feel they don't need any more T4s. Throw more T4s at it and you will be golden. So. On a serious note, who would I put more T4s on? Uh, I would stop investing on a serious note. Stop it. <laughs> Just move on. I mean, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, Mbaku needs a little bit as well. You, you should. Really okay, if I could Mbaku take every investment I had from that team and put it in like Sinister Six or Fantastic Four, that would be the greatest day of my life. Fox Next, if you're watching this, give me my demands. I actually think they're a pretty good team, but in a different mode, and I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> in a different game mode. So. All right, well, that's the whole list, guys. I don't know. Love to hear your thoughts. I'm looking forward to all the hate I'm going to get from saying that Wakanda <laughs> sucks, but they do, so I'm not ashamed to proclaim that truth. If you guys have any other teams that you really like that are kind of weird, you guys give me pretty cool suggestions in the comments all the time. I like looking at them. I test them out sometimes. They're pretty cool. You guys are pretty smart. I enjoy trying your teams. So that's it. That's all we got. Um, Make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know we're blowing up. I'm obviously I'm gonna pass Valley's uh, blowing up, baby. Soon. You know I'm gonna just gonna just scoot on past all of them. I'm gonna be the greatest Marvel Strike Force YouTuber that this the world has ever seen. Do you have anything else to say to that Valley? I'm running away because you're trying to uh, scoot past me. <laughs> Why did I say scoot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, check me out, guys. Check me out on my YouTube channel. Check me out on social media. Don't That's check it. him out on social media. Do you have an Instagram, Valley? Can I come? I do have Instagram. It's at Valley Flying. Combs is going to put it in a link down in the description. And if he doesn't, you could bug him on Discord. I am going to do that. Nice. That's going to be great. We can see all of Valley's nice, sweet pics. Ooh. <laughs> all right, I'm done. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.